What's up everybody, it's your boy Marsman here, and we finally have the Halo Battle Royale, sort of. One of the most debated topics in all the Halo community is whether we should have a Battle Royale. And when the leaks were released, one of the biggest discussions most Halo fans had was whether or not the Battle Royale was actually happening or if it was really just a rumor. Even to this day, you can hear Halo fans duking out whether it was actually needed. After the smoke cleared, there seems to be someone or something that emerged to solve our BR problems. And that was the Forge Falcons. Forge Falcons did something amazing and created a Halo Battle Royale built within Forge. And it's honestly impressive. Having both AI enemies and players to compete in a unique experience is straight up incredible and I'm all for it. I feel like this Halo Battle Royale just slaps, man. But the question I am here to answer is, does this surge in Forge Falcons iteration at a BR a sign that maybe a battle royale is best route for Halo? Is it ready to be through for three's major focus going forward? If we were able to have our own Halo BR, what should it look like? And does it show that the battle rifle isn't the only BR that Halo needs? Let's find our own version of Tilted Towers, break out our dance moves, and jump right into this. In order to fully understand the Halo battle royale discussion, we need to look back at where it all began. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Let's take us down memory lane. Remember back before the official drop of Halo Infinite, when all the Halo fans out there were starstruck by the trailers, when Santa Claus himself, Joe Staden, gave us the story background to Infinite. We were all hyped, knowing the new Halo was arriving on the scene, with trailer after trailer showing off classic Halo gameplay, with visuals that didn't look like a 360 game, the creation of Craig, an art style that resembled the Bungie era titles, and major promises that, you know, at the time, weren't broken yet. Oh, the good old days. But all of a sudden, some annoying, screeching, over-the-top sound started to ring around the internet. What is it? More brutes? Worse. No, you need a battle royale. That's what you need. In order for this game to go longer than three weeks after launch? Listen, when this game launches, viewership's not going to be good. Okay, like, it's going to be, it'll be good for like a week. Halo needs a battle royale? Ah, uh, yes, the classic Halo is a niche game argument which makes me lose brain cells. Whether it was a console fanboy or a streamer that doesn't fully understand Halo, all we heard was the drunk stupor of a bunch of randos saying that Halo will not survive without a battle royale. Some said that Halo is too old and is not hip enough to keep up with the new kids on the block. I mean, damn it, 3 for 3, you need to add Nicki Minaj or Snoop Dogg D-O-double-G or else you're just gonna fail. You're right, Dr. Disrespect, we need more of this to get a Halo ready to roll. You have one side that says that Halo needs a battle royale while the other side says that Halo getting a BR will hurt the overall outlook and feel of Halo. As Halo Infinite is released, we saw massive success in the beginning, but due to a lack of content, that massive population kinda dropped off. But after a year, 3 for 3 got their heads out of their ass and actually added content to the game. Throughout this process, we have seen possible leaks that 3 for 3 is working on a battle royale for Infinite or possibly the next installment. But with no real confirmation or when it will be released, we're still unsure if it's still being worked on or if it's just been put on hold. And did you know that 11% of the average viewers are subscribed to the channel? Make sure you hit that thumbs up and sub to the channel if you like this type of content. Now back to the Halo Battle Royale. Then we arrive into today. Two years into Halo Infinite, so much more content, Forge in full swing, more than 10 maps added into Halo Infinite since its launch, and it's feeling like a pretty damn good time. When we look at what Forge is able to do, especially when it comes to a BR, we need to get excited. There have been several attempts at a BR developed within Forge mode, but there is one that stands above the rest, and that is made by Forge Falcons. And I think right out the gate, we gotta give Forge Falcons the biggest handshake possible for creating this gem. You can tell by the outlook of this mode that it took extremely long time to create this vast map. With different key locations to weapon drops, many AI with consistent spawns and shifting behaviors. I mean, Jesus, this is massive in scale. You can tell there has been some sleepless nights working on every detail here. What makes this battle royale feel so fun is that the fact you can tell all the basic ideas of any battle royale are present. With the drop into the zone, finding weapons, even a whole system for the quote-unquote gulag that's built within it. I know that basically all the aspects of the mode were in development before the AI were officially added, but once 3 for 3 gave us the option, Forge Falcons took the gloves off and straight up knocked this out of the park. I think the basic concepts all relatively work well. Dropping into the zone after seeing all the doors open to tell us to get the hell out does give off the vibes of the Hunger Games. Because legit, we're punching the crap out of each other, waiting for the doors to open, and it's honestly just hilarious. The fact that we have areas of interest with enemies guarding different spots is a pretty cool concept that even Battle Royals of today could really take a note from. The multiple different weapon drops and vehicle locations give the map so much room to play out and 
try different experiences each time you go into it. Fans have been itching for a PvPVE mode that gives fans the ability to not only fight against live opponents, but also computers. So honestly, this gets an A grade from me. Forge Falcons has really done a great job setting up a Halo Battle Royale that is not only unique to the series, but it's something that us fans have always wanted in this type of game mode. Even though this is just one example of a BR in Halo, you can clearly see that there are some positives that can be drawn from these types of modes being added to this title. Now I can talk all day about the good of the battle royales from Forge, but I do need to mention the ideas that need to be fixed or changed completely. Right off the bat, battle royales on Forge just feel buggy. I know this is not entirely the fault of the creators and it's really putting a strain on the engine of Halo Infinite. Textures are sort of bogging out, trees start to crap out, and I've seen a few clips where people were just glitched out of the game entirely. I feel like when looking at what Forge Falcons has created, we can applaud them for their size and scope. We can also take a look at some adjustments overall. The points of interest seem pretty spot on when it comes to the enemies guarding the areas, but I feel like there needs to be more of a reward for these types of operations. I feel like half the time when I get to fight off all these banished patrols, I'm just picking up basic weapons like a battle rifle. I mean, like, damn, I just blew my cover and lost so much health that most times I play, I honestly just stay away from these points of interest, mainly because they don't really give me much of an incentive to get involved. I mean, what might give people more of a reason to attack certain locations is to strengthen some of the weapon drops in these power spots, or at least make them more consistent. Battle Royals in Forge recently have gotten a lot of attention, which is great, but the fault I see with most game modes is the ability to actually join up with a team in its current state. It's not entirely the fault of creators like Forge Falcons, but it's more of a system issue. In its current state, most Forge-based Battle Royals or solos and the only way you can play duos or trios is to create your own game and hope that people join the match i mean that relies completely on the fact that you have friends i do have a crew but they aren't online all the time so you're expecting me to make friends i mean that's that's kind of tough what allows for battle royales to work so well is to be able to match up with others and just play in its current state the forge battle royales are not set up to match that standard it just feels like forge is unable to run a smooth system with its current issues as much as forge has the ability to do great things at times, I feel like it can't fully run some of these modes well enough to be a full and complete experience. Ever since Season 5 of Halo Infinite, there have been a major uptick in fans that have returned to the game and so far have really been enjoying the new content. But the question that most fans ask is whether a battle royale is needed for Halo Infinite in order to push it to the next step and expand its audience. The idea of a battle royale has always been something that most Halo fans have thought about whether it would be a good fit in this universe. Since the beginning, fans have really made it their opinion to not focus on the mode because it could have drawn resources away from the main game, which would hurt it in the long run. And knowing 343's track record, especially in its first year, I believe you. If you forget, the first year was the equivalent of a snail's pace of content being funneled into the game. Seasons were six months in length, and honestly would have probably kneecapped the seasonality of Halo if they attempted to make a battle royale here. I've been yelling about a battle royale for a while now, and I remember back in the first year of the channel, I was thinking that maybe, just maybe, if you create a game mode that includes elements of Halo BTB, include with a battle royale, it would change the game. Since we've had every version of a battle royale from all across the gaming industry, I feel like it would be important for Halo to separate themselves from the rest and make changes that make this mode unique. I think we need to bring back Warzone. Wait, 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 wait. Let, please, please let me finish. Don't don't murder me, please. Warzone is one of the most controversial game modes in all of Halo. Not because it was bad at all, because it was great, but mainly it was hated due to the monetization practices that 343 had implemented. If you forget, 343 had made the most Scrooge McDuck ideas and built an entire game mode behind it. And when most fans realized what they were doing was wrong, they had the gall, the chutzpah, to make an overview video insulting the fans that brought up a good question. Uh, wait, won't wreck packs with special weapons break the exquisitely refined balance of arena multiplayer? Secure your noise hole, soldier. Grown-ups are talking. Damn it. Essentially, the game mode turned into a whoever can input their credit card the most will win the game, but the amount of rec packs you open. All of a sudden, I started to feel like I was playing Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh, opening up card packs after card pack, hoping I get some crazy ass weapon to help me win in Warzone. And it was all based on luck. Like three for three, look, look at me. Do I look lucky to you? Now my hope is by bringing back Warzone, we can avoid putting that monetization barf into the game, but instead have these rec purchases based on your score. And instead of you just having bases to capture, we can include a variant mode 
where you have to survive to win. Include last part standing and warzone together to build the ultimate version of Exodia where it's a mixture of one of the best modes of all time and one of the hottest modes in the FPS market. But does Halo need a battle royale? Halo was proving that it doesn't need one to survive. I mean, look at what it was able to accomplish with no real mode in sight. But in order for Halo to expand its population and get old fans or even new ones, to join the fray, I feel like new modes like a battle royale will definitely help in doing that. This has been proven with what Forged Falcons was able to accomplish with their Forged Creations. And honestly, I have to give them a salute for what they will pull off here. So hopefully we'll find out whether a battle royale will be added to Halo down the line or if it's just smoke and mirrors. Do you think Halo needs a battle royale in order to compete? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I want to give a shout out to Forged Falcons and the work that they did in this BR mode that was made completely in Forge, and I highly recommend you try it out for yourself. If you like this type of content, consider liking and subscribing to the video in order to support the channel. Till next time, this is Marsman signing off. Peace out, guys.